Fernando Del Pau. Uh, good afternoon, all. Uh, can you hear me okay? Uh, hello, Alad. I've just met Alad. We've met online a lot of times and just met in person. Uh, okay, um, my name is Ruben Palin. I am a, a police inspector for the next two weeks before I retire uh, with Dovey Paris Police. Um, I am the, I have a very grand title of the All Wales Lead for Heritage Crime. Um, that is me. Um, a very, very quick uh, introduction to how I came into this role. Four years ago, Thomas, I think it was, me and Thomas both came into the, our roles at the same time. Thomas with the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park, me and Dovey Powys Police asked to be the, I was asked if I could do the Dovey Powys lead uh, role for Heritage. I did that, uh, had no idea about Heritage at the time, no archeology span background, nothing. But I took on the role. Uh, I was then asked to do the All Wales lead, uh, which I took on. And I have to say, working with the partners, some of which are in the room, it's probably the best job I've had within, within the police. Um, I multi-hat, this is just an aside. I, I do other jobs as well within the police. So um, heritage crime is any unlawful activity which harms historic assets. That includes buildings, monuments, parks, gardens, and landscapes. Um, it comes in all sorts of forms from antisocial behavior, criminal damage, arson, uh, unlawful salvage of shipwrecks, antisocial behavior, as I've already said. Metal detecting, commonly known as um, uh, night hawking, forms part of it, but it, it's, it's a wide variety of different offenses um, that uh, it covers. Um, these are a couple of little uh, photographs um, of such offenses. This here is uh, St. David's, St. Non's Chapel. This is the cross that is uh, within St. Non's Chapel in St. David's. And um, I spotted this one. Uh, I live 200 yards from it. I spotted this one, and it looks as though somebody has uh, smeared what we believe to be uh, blood at the top, and it's ran down through the cross. That is a heritage crime, and I'm probably talking to people that already understand this. Obviously, uh, a major, major piece of historic uh, 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 artifact, for the want of a better word, uh, for for Wales, being uh, St. Nons. Uh, this one comes with a bit of warning, the next, the next drawing. You will see on here that there is some rude, um, uh, a rude uh, drawing on here. I call it a cherry, okay? But I do apologize. You will see the cherries there. This is in St. This is, <laughs> this is, this was designed for a police audience, so I go more into the cherries, but I am mindful of my audience today. Um, this is, uh, forms part of Saint, uh, the Bishop's Palace down in uh, St. David's. Local school kids, as you can see, have uh, graffitied it quite terribly. Um, I believe, and I look at Thomas and he may, he may know this or not, but I believe this certain area of the, of the Bishop's Palace was used for booking people in and out. It was an entry way into the walled area of the of the uh, St. David's uh, Cathedral. Uh, it's where people would go go through and give them access. Uh, quite a, as you can see, quite a, an important area and local kids have done this to it. Those local kids, however, we have caught a couple of them. I'm very, very pleased to say. Now I'm here to protect the history, to protect protecting our history, that's my role within the police. And that is 200 yards from my door and the other one, so I'm not doing a very good job, am I? Because it's all happening on my doorstep. Um, these are the partners that we've worked with. Um, I'm being as quick as I can. So my, my um, big thing was to create Operation Heritage Cymru. Uh, created that in two uh, last year, July. So it's been going for about 18 months now, and I bet not many people have heard about it who work in this sector. So Operation Heritage Cymru is, is a way of bringing all the Welsh police forces together. It, it happen, it's all across Wales. Um, we've got a lead in each force for heritage crime. Um, every time, 
one of my pleas today is that if you see something happening on your historic environments, such as the tram roads, if you see some criminal damage on those tram roads, please report it. Uh, and when you report anything, uh, use the hashtag OpHeritageCumry. That will then mean that whatever police force you speak to in Wales, they'll go, we know what Op Heritage Cymru is, and it'll get reported to us, and it'll have the correct categorisation within the police so that we can monitor and see what the problems are. Because at the moment, our data is really poor. Uh, we're creating bilingual training packages that are provided by CADO to strengthen the police understanding. We enhance, in that we're trying to enhance the public understanding of heritage crime to ensure that crimes are reported. And we have some leaflets uh, downstairs that we can give you uh, for more information around that. Uh, providing guidance of, for those reporting heritage crime to ensure the reporting process is easier. Again, if you come across damage to any of your historic environments, please report it, quote Op Heritage Cymru. You can do that online, 101999, if it's uh, something uh, ongoing there and then. Um, and creating a heritage watch scheme, which is why Thomas is here, because he's great. Uh, there's a couple of little things. Heritage watch, Thomas, I'll hand over to Thomas. No, no, you carry on, please. Uh, this yes, I'm going to hand over to... Five minutes to do that. That's quick. There we are. I'm, I'm, I'm handing over to Thomas because Thomas is running a really successful Heritage Watch scheme in Pembrokeshire. Uh, final thing for me is we are going to roll one out across the whole of Dublin Paris. We're in the process of doing that, so you should see one soon in Brecon Beach with the Heritage Watch scheme. Thomas will explain what it is. Yeah, so um, just to add that the Heritage Watch Scheme, although they're working on the sort of other parts of uh, David Powys, the Bracken Beacons and the other part, Banabrechina, sorry, uh, and other parts of David Powys are already covered. And I've liaised with Alice in the Banabrechina about the scheme. But essentially, I was just going to highlight, I brought some leaflets today downstairs. Um, that will give you the information you need. There's a web link and that will tell you about what is a heritage crime, but like Ruben's explained. There's also a mailing list which you can join. And yeah, so just visit our website and that will give you some more information. So thank you.